light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Edo Essentials here For today's video I'm going to be working on an old lounge chair that I've had and I covered it with a different fabric just because I was in a hurry and I didn't do a good job at it. This was like four to five years ago. So today I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to properly cover up the chair. I'm using the same fabric that I used for the throne chair because the throne chair is close to where this chair is going to be. This is a crushed velvet fabric that I got. And like I said, it's the same one that I used for the throne chair. Now, when you're doing upholstery, especially using a velvet fabric, you have to keep pulling. Pulling it in such a way that when anyone sits on the chair, it doesn't come out rumpled. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. And this chair has hidden storage that's going to make it really easy for me to cover up the entire chair because it has wood underneath here so that's where i'm going to be holding down the fabric full full tree work that you're going to be doing at home i would recommend you use pins that are longer Like I said earlier, it's much better to always stretch the fabric when you're doing your upholstery on your chair, especially for velvet fabric. Because of the storage opening that I had on this chair, covering it up was so easy. I have something planned for this area over here. Instead of just covering it up, I'm gonna tuft it. Now with the drawing that I made on the paper, I wanted to make sure that I understood how the chair was gonna turn out before I even started. So yeah, I'm gonna make tufts on this side of the chair. I'm making marks for where I want the tufts to be. Now, when I was okay with the number that I have on the chair, I opened them up with something sharp and then I made sure that my finger was able to go right through it. That way, I know that when I'm going to be tufting, the pins are going to go straight to the wood that's at the back. I used pins to hold the fabric that's at the back and then later on I'll cover the entire back. Now for the excess fabric that's here, I'm going to open the storage that I have and then staple down the fabric on the wood that's at the bottom.
Okay, guys, I have to say this was super easy, and this took me three hours. Now, according to how I drew out the pattern, I have something here at the bottom, and I want it to look like this. Reminds me of an Arabian friend that I have that emphasized on something decorative at the bottom of her chair. And I figured because where they're from, they love anything shiny. So I was just going to try it out on my chair. After getting the length with the canvas panel, I placed it on the chair and then traced out the shape that's at the bottom. I made the curve here much better. I'm going to trim that out and then make a certain light arc at the top and then trim that out as well. To keep the pieces that I attached together, I used tape, but that didn't really hold it still. So I used a hot glue gun to hold them in place. After that, I'm going to be covering it with the same fabric that I used in covering up the chair. The next thing I'm gonna do is cover it up with bling wrap. Now, like I said before, I'm trying to try out something shiny at the bottom of the chair because of my Arabian friend that talked about something shiny at the bottom of her chair. And I know that most of their chairs have something decorative at the bottom, like decorative panels, which I did not have. So I'm going to try it out with a bling wrap. I'll be attaching this to the chair with nails. In the stores, they have shorter ones and longer ones. I'll recommend using the longer ones because that way it's going to go right through the wood that's inside the chair. When I was done, it just didn't look good in my eyes. It was looking as if something was missing. So I decided to change the legs. I got the sofa legs online and I have used these legs before on a footstool. And I will leave a link for that video down in the description box below. I will also leave a link for the sofa legs that I'll be using down in the description box below as well. I already removed what I have on the chair and you can see how old and dated it looks. But I am not going to throw it away because knowing me, I might use it for something else. I'm just going to change up the look and use it for a whole different project entirely. It is almost the same height with a sofa leg that I'm going to use and it also has protective bottom just like the old sofa legs. I attach them and now it looks much better. The last thing that I'll be working on is the arc that's by the side. I got the shape that I wanted and did the same thing that I did for the pattern that's at the bottom of the chair and then wrapped fabric around it, glued it, and then now I'm going to be attaching it to the chair with long nails. And then I'm going to be highlighting it with this trim that I got from Walmart. I'll be using the nails through these holes that I have on the trim to attach it to the chair. When I was done, I used crystal buttons on the tufting and I used mirror mosaic tiles to make the line that's at the top of the arc that's at the bottom of the chair to be more defined. Now you don't have to make the pattern at the bottom. I did that because a friend of mine liked it and she's Arabian. So I'm trying to make something a little bit different here. You don't really have to make the same pattern at the bottom. You can just leave yours bare. I'm really happy that I tried this out. And finally, this chair that used to look like this now looks like this. 
I do hope that you all are keeping safe out there and please stay positive. This uncomfortable situation that we're in because of the COVID-19 will soon be over. Just do your part by staying sanitized and also remember social distancing. We will pull through this together. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.